The Windows file system is a fundamental component of the Windows operating system. It's responsible for organizing, storing, and managing data on storage devices. Understanding the Windows file system is essential for any Windows user or system administrator as it provides the framework for file and folder organization, access control, and data management. And in this lab, we're going to dive into those key concepts of the Windows file system. We'll learn how to navigate its hierarchical structure and explore various file and folder management tasks. Let's jump in. First, let's open up the File Explorer. In File Explorer, take a good look at the left-hand side pane. This is called the Navigation pane. Let's explore some of these items over here, such as Quick Access, this PC, which is also my computer, network, and more. And if we expand the Quick Access menu, we can see that there are pinned locations inside of here. If we select any of them, it takes us right to the location itself, and hence the name of Quick Access. So let's go and try and do that. Let's actually right click this PC and then we can go ahead and select pin to quick access menu. And there it is. So if we select it, it will always take us right to this PC. And what is this PC? Well, this PC actually used to be called my computer in previous versions of Windows. And this is where you can see attached drives, network shares and storage devices such as USBs. Now we don't need to keep it inside that menu, so I'm gonna go inside and actually right click this PC inside of Quick Access and select Unpin. Okay, moving on. Let's take a look inside of Local Disk, and this is also called the C drive. The C drive is the main drive for our Windows file system. We can see here that there are folders and files present, and this could be considered the root of our file system. So let's go and actually explore one of those folders. Let's check out the Users folder. And we can double click any folder inside of the File Explorer to go ahead and open it. The Users folder is where we can find a list of all of the user profiles folders on the system. So let's go and check one of them out. And Administrator sounds good, right? And inside of here, we can see all of the Administrator's folders and files. Let's double click the Desktop. And hey, that's our desktop. So yes, we're the administrator user in this case, right? So we can see that the quick access for desktop is actually the folder of users, administrator, desktop. So they're one and the same. And every single user profile on the Windows system will have a set of folders and files like this. They'll have their own desktop, their own documents, their own downloads. Now let's use File Explorer to navigate the directory a little bit. We can select that address bar, that's what it's called at the top, and we can just specify a folder if it exists and navigate to it. So C users administrator and C users administrator desktop. And note that backslash in between. That is what separates folders from subfolders. And that's how we traverse the directory or directories of the main drive. Cool, so let's go ahead now and work with moving and copying and cutting and pasting files. Inside of the administrator's main folder, we'll find a help file. Let's go ahead and then right click that and select copy. Next, let's double click on the desktop folder from inside here, and then right click anywhere in the white space and select paste. All right, and there it is inside of the desktop. And that's really as simple as it is to copy and paste the file. Cool, so now let's cut and paste. Same thing, right click the file, select cut, go inside of the administrator directory, and this time we'll go inside of documents and paste it over here. And notice how it disappears from the desktop. So that's a cut and paste operation where it deletes the file from the original location. All right, so now let's go ahead and try replacing a file. Let's cut it from the documents folder of administrator and then paste it back inside of administrator's main profile folders. Notice that a little prompt appears asking us what to do with it. And this is a little selection area, sort of like an alert, like, hey, you might be doing something wrong here. I'm going to ask you one last time. Do you want to replace it or do you want to skip this operation? And in this case, let's go ahead and replace the file and observe what happens. So we saw a little progress bar appear there. It completed the operation and we've now replaced that help file inside of that folder. Okay, so we're learning how to work with files here. Now, the last thing we should do is try deleting a file. So let's actually copy this and we're gonna move it to another folder. 
Let's put it inside of documents from the quick access menu and paste it inside there. And then we'll right click and then select delete. And now something happened when we did that. At the top left, the recycle bin on our desktop kind of filled up. Some crumpled paper appeared inside there and that indicates that some deleted files are now inside of the recycle bin. Now that doesn't mean that they're deleted. That just means that they're ready to be deleted. So let's double click the recycle bin and then inside of here, we can just right click anywhere in the white space and select empty recycle bin. Cool, so that file's gone now. And that's it for a little bit more of a basic introduction inside of the GUI. And now we can work with the file explorer application. We can navigate the quick access menu, go around the disk, access user profiles, and we can even cut, copy, paste, and delete files.